Hey, it's Kyron here. Now, it's been a while since I've actually done a renovation or any work, um, but what I'm doing now is Extreme Makeover Home Edition, Kyron's version. Now, um, I'm actually at my grandparents' place, and I think for me, one of the things about doing everything I've learned is being able to apply those same skills and help family members out. So I'm going to take you around the garden of my grandparents now. They, um, back in the day, they used to do competitions. They've got an absolutely magnificent garden. Now, they're getting old. Papa's 90, Nana's 86, they're getting sick, and the garden's gotten away from them. So I'm coming in, I'm doing some really simple stuff to the property, which will make it so much more manageable, tidy it all up and make it look so much nicer, and they'll be able to enjoy and use the garden again. So this was once a pride and joy with, uh, with their hot houses which are now falling apart. Once upon a time we had little fish ponds but we've had to, uh, they've had to fill that in as they put the deck out to allow for more parking. So what we're actually doing, we're getting rid of all the plants that were sitting up here and we're re relaying the tiles so that they're flat because look at that massive difference. Now unfortunately you know we're not going to do the entire garden because it's massive but we're going to stop here and just do the top part which is something they can actually see. So we're just trimming up making it walkable again obviously you know being a little bit older they're prone to tripping and they've got these plants just everywhere on the footpath on the deck we're going to bring some life back to this cool little pond and believe it or not if we go on a little safari we'll find another pond okay i'm not going any further i'm going to get wet feet or fall over but yeah we're gonna 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 bring some life back to that pond as well because that's well overgrown as we come back up onto the deck see we've just got plants everywhere and we've tried to get rid of the bromeliads, but they're Nana's babies. And I'm pretty sure she's said more than once that she loves her bromeliads more than us. So we're just going to simply relocate them and make them more manageable. Trim up this massive remove tree, which is now overgrown everywhere. But what we're doing is, is we're taking all these plants which are just sitting all over the place and just filling in all these holes. So we're not even replanting them, we're just simply putting them in their pots, filling in the holes, which makes it look better. You can see where I've already started. So you can't even tell that none of those, that those are sitting in their pots. And we'll just keep filling that in and it makes it look good. It tidies it up. No weeding, no nothing. That makes it manageable for a little 85 year old lady. So it was actually a lot, um, lot quicker and a lot easier than I was expecting. It only took us like one and a half days. And to be honest, we've probably added about $20,000 equity for something that cost me less than $400. How cool is that? If you add in my time too, probably talking $600. $700. So, not bad. $700 for $20,000 equity. You know, there are so many easy, simple things you can do. We've done one trailer load to the tip. So many easy things you can do which don't cost a lot but add so much value to a house. when I was still able to walk properly. So here's the re -leveled sort of patio. Um, it's not perfect, but this took two trailer loads of Gap 7 and then some um, river sand to fill in the pavers. But this is what I like the most. This is where one of 
what the hothouse is at, you can obviously still see the frame. So my goal with this was basically to give Nana and Papa something that is more manageable and they can start again, almost like a blank slate. So Papa's, he's going to do what he wants here. Um, so we got the shade sale, he, he can make a nice little barbecue area out of it. This was um, one of my favourite things because this was my project. I don't like the boring hard work, I like doing the creative stuff. So yeah, we've pulled all these scoria rocks out from under the house. You can see there's a few more under there. And just decorated it up. It was really easy. Seriously, that took like an hour. And just filling in the little bits and bobs. As we come around, just mainly most of it was getting rid of plants which were everywhere. So many little makeshift shelves. As we come back up, there was plants along every side. It's just making it accessible and cleaning it up. This was another cool little project of mine. We haven't bothered cleaning up the pond because the plumber's got to come in to do the pump. But even just, you know, just a nice little feature. So we've pulled out so many disgusting stuff. Look, nice, shit, nice, clean. One thing I'm still yet to do is to tackle the massive wasps. wasps ah! again I'll be happy but yeah just it, it was such an easy way and it looks fantastic like yeah you know all of this was already here we just oh, we just made it look better and then cleared away all the junk which was lying there trimmed up the remo so you can actually walk without getting your hair brushed the stairs. And then of course, the deck. So there's this whole pack, like there's parts of it, you know, we, we can't do much to it because it just literally hasn't seen the sun in about 10 years. So we pulled that out, cleaned it, and I'm just going to let it, uh, you know, let the sun do its thing. Another little party hole, just put the pots in there. There was two of you, take out, you know, how much were my costs? My direct costs were about $100, not including labour. So, not bad, I think, to get $20,000 worth of value back. 